हेलो व्यूअर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू सारा आदि का न्यूज चैनल टुडे वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस ही इज द प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ द फिल्म महालक्ष्मी पद आई वुड लाइक टू टेल ऑल माय व्यूअर्स दैट दिस फिल्म वाज रिलीज्ड ऑन अक्टूबर 27 2023 द फिल्म हैज वन मोर देन 65 नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल अवार्ड वर्ल्ड वाइड गिविंग इट अ वेरी huge recognition apart from this mr talwar who is the producer of the film has worked very hard for achieving what he has achieved today mr talwar welcome to sara adika news channel thank you thank you zishin uh mr talwar before i begin uh, to ask you the questions i would like to congratulate you for your uh, success for your movie mahalakshmi pad and uh, one more thing i would like to add is that audience have seen your uh, movie and they have really uh, appreciated your movie as well and when we uh, see the movie i have personally seen it on youtube and i must say it's a very uh, good piece of art which you have shown to the audience i have come across the the movie as the, the, like like i would like to frame a question like two married sisters uh, named sheetal and samaira they have problems within their families which are a cause of their unhappiness however when they start meditation as per sahaj yoga they find that it is a life changing experience where misunderstandings are cleared and which give them peace of mind so could you tell us mr talwar where this idea came from did you expect that your film would have won so many awards okay thank you zishan okay the idea of making this film came from the fact that i have been practicing a certain kind of meditation called sahaj yoga which is the gift of her holiness shri mata ji nirmala devi since 1970 she has taught us this art of meditation through kundalini awakening and uh, i have been practicing this meditation for the last 42 years and the biggest advantage this meditation has given in my life is that it has changed my life for the better it has made me a responsible person a responsible citizen a responsible human being and i am able to understand what are my problems within me and what are the problems that are outside and i am able to look at them uh, with a keen eye and solve the problems around me and make my surroundings a better place to live in this experience i wanted to put in my movie so that everybody could know what exactly this experience is about and that is how sheetal and samara is two sisters they started with my first movie grah lakshmi the awakening where we made an introduction to the subject and then this followed with a new movie called mahalakshmi pad the evolution where they are actually becoming the source of peace within the lives of their husbands their families and they have sorting out the small little problems that we face every day in life so bringing out those problems and bringing them through the meditation that these girls do is how they are resolving is the whole story that you will enjoy it is like a bollywood film in a, in the real bollywood style with full entertainment and at the same time it educates you about how this meditation which is within you can convert you to into a better human being and a better person make your life and your surroundings better so i think our audience which only goes to the theaters to take sheer entertainment they can also take back home a message that uh, yoga which is uh, nothing but a union of the atma with the parmatma which is mentioned in all our scriptures that is attained very simply through sahaj yoga meditation and once you have this inner awakening you are cleansed inside and then you can see everything very clearly outside and you can resolve all your problems and the resolution is there in the movie that i have tried to show thank you uh, mr talwar in your movie we see that sheetal tries to give her a balanced life through sahaj yoga meditation as you have explained in your answer right now and also promises uh, promises herself to bring her daughter rita back to her mother in law's life so do you think this concept of uh, yoga and meditation 
would appeal to the audience because uh, we see that bollywood movies are filled with action and love stories so could you just put some light on this that what made you uh, think of uh, making a movie so different like the you have, you, you have been not been following the trend which all the producers follow it's a very different topic so it's something new so could you just uh, put some light on this uh, issue yeah musician uh, uh, so translating my own experience and uh, joy within and passing it on to an audience that watches a movie has been a very challenging role for me but with the team that i had they able to understand the concept and uh, roll in a transformational movie which is so different from other movies they are not mainstream bollywood movies you can call it as an experimental a transformational a spiritual genre where the whole family can learn something from this yoga practice it themselves it is meant for all whether you come from any religion you come from any background whether you are black or white or whether you speak any language whether you are rich or poor or you may be coming from any caste it doesn't matter you are a human being first and you all have that energy within you that can be awakened give you that state of meditation and we are trying to make this universally available to all families so that they can watch this film from the child to the elderly person in the family can sit together and watch they don't have to worry about the different kinds of embarrassing scenes that are now there's shown in the movies this is a movie that brings families together and that is the whole idea why i wanted this movie because our families are ripping apart with the kind of movies that are coming today in the in the internet uh, that are available even in our general uh, movie theaters they are going by outside uh, references to entertainment which is good to be entertained but then you go back with a little sense of fear that uh, something bad happens in life through movies but here i want to tell you that everything good happens in life through movies so please allow me to sow this seed of good cinema which has never happened i don't think it has happened ever before though i see some very good movies coming i saw an excellent movie very recently shrikant and i have to tell you that some of our producers have that capability of giving a neat and clean and a wonderful family film where we can learn something take home a message and be lead a happy life feel contented after watching a movie and not feeling fearful as the other movies tend to give us through all the scenes of drug use uh, murder rape and bad language and as you know that all these things are spoiling our society and my idea was that the society should be given an alternate cinema where they can appreciate the good value system of being human how to raise your level of awareness and how to make people happy around you i hope yeah, i answered that's a very good question. answer mr talwar thank you yeah i would like to ask you one more question uh, when you were promoting your films i remember uh you had been to marathi patrakar sang i have been reading your the blogs of your film mahalakshmi par and i came across uh, women's empowerment like uh, you have really stressed on the importance of women's empowerment so my question would be uh, very simple to you what do you think about women's empowerment in india are they really empowered do they really uh, get what they deserve your answer please see i i totally agree with you that women empowerment is the need of the hour in our society our mothers our daughters our sisters our wives our parents all the female uh, females who rule our family make our family together they are not treated equally they are treated more like absorbents they have to absorb a lot of things that we we put on them like that we men tend to lead and tend to um, drive the women uh, around rather than we be of help or rather than we give them self self respect and and we, so we need to be very aware that this is about uplifting millions of women in the country and we must take an in initiative to empower women in education in health rural transformation disaster response and sports and then why should we do this 
This is philanthropy, yes. It is CSR, yes. And of course, it's all these, but much more, I think, I owe a debt to this society, a debt that will go far to repay. All I am doing is focusing on how soon and how well I can repay this debt. Allow me to explain this. We were born in a house that was free of gender bias. We were fortunate to be groomed as self-reliant, educated, free-willed, and disciplined children. Most importantly, I could make my own choices for myself because of an environment and an outlook that encouraged and enabled me. As we all men have always had an upper hand in our families, unfortunately, millions of women don't have access to basic things like healthcare, water, sanitization, and education. Then there are those who, despite having this, have no access to employment. And above all, they don't have the power to make their own choices. In India, women are discriminated against even before they are born. 700,000 girls are killed in the womb. And from there onwards, it's an uphill struggle for girls. The opportunity funnel just keeps getting on narrower and narrower. And for them, over 1 million children below the age of 5 are lost each year, on which 3,100 die on the first day of life itself. Worst, a majority of them are girls. Girls are neglected when unwell, given prior, had to be given priority for medical treatment in the family as compared to boys, leading to high infant mortality rates. More than 50% of girls fail to enroll in schools. Large number of girls drop out of school at puberty. Most, one of the main reasons being the lack of separate toilets for them. Nearly 45% of girls in India get married before the age of 18. 70% of women are not part of our workforce even today. And all this number paints a grim picture. We owe a debt to our sisters, mothers, wives, and the female at home who works very hard. And they are not as fortunate as we men. We stand at a very important time in history, a time when a crucial difference can be made. In about a decade, India will have the largest number of women in any country in the world. Then what kind of an India and what kind of a world do we want for ourselves and for our children? A world where women lack behind is not only an unequal world, it's an unjust world. It's an unfair world. And we cannot accept this world. Can the world be different from what it looks like today? I believe it's quite possible. We have proud women also from all walks of life, like Jhansi Ki Rani and many others. And these women make us believe in a world with possibilities a world where women have equal opportunities, a world that is better not just for women, but for everyone. According to IMF, if the number of women who joined the workforce in India were to increase the level of men, India's GDP would grow by 27%. It is clear, empowered Indian women means a stronger and better India. We can change the stories of Indian women in villages. We have to start doing it now. And it's time for action, my friend. Together, let's make the dream real. That is my idea of women that's empowerment. A, that's a really logical and a very fantastic answer, Mr. Talwar. Uh, my last question for you would be, what is your next movie which you plan to release? And what's new in that which the audience will see? See, uh, my dear friend, I am not a mainstream filmmaker. I am a, a filmmaker by default. Why? Because I nursed 
this feeling of making films, being in films, singing. I'm basically, that's my main forte is writing, singing, poetry, music. I have been at it for last 42 years. But because I wanted to translate this beautiful uh, message that I had got in my life in these four decades, that I wish I could pass on something that I had gained in my life. I thought the best way would be the audiovisual, the cinema, because the cinema is so influential in today's world that it can make a lot of change in society because we are looking for this change to happen fast. You know, there is a huge attack of all the five elements on all the wrongdoings men are doing on this world. There is hatred, there is wars, there is a, a sheer misuse of uh, environmental ish matters where man should have been more careful using his environment, whether it's the Mother Earth, and that is because earthquakes have started to come. You see, even the elements are grumbling and rumbling, and they are destroying because they don't like what human beings are impinging on them. Whereas they were supposed to be part of this beautiful nature. You know, something like what I would say, a seed. You, when you sow it in the soil, you have to nurture it with love, with, with all the things that go into it in very small quantities and not in large quantities so that it grows into a bud. Then it becomes a, a small sapling. Then it becomes a plant. You slowly give it, nurture it with more love. And then it becomes a plant, a big plant. Then it gets flowers. And then it becomes a tree. And in that tree, there are more flowers than the food, fruits come. And then they become so heavy that the tree bends down in humility. And what the tree eventually does is to provide shelter. So this is what I wanted to tell everybody, that we human beings have been given this opportunity to be human and not animals because we can grow like a tree. We can give fragrance of the flowers. We can give beautiful uh, experience of the fruits. If they were to eat those fruits, they would grow spiritually into better human beings. And they would grow so good that they would provide shelter to everybody. <clears throat> and everybody can live at peace and harmony like a family together. So keeping you, all this thank in you, mind... Thank you, Mr. for joining us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. So Talamba, for joining us. Your message has indeed reached the audience through your movie, Mahalakshmi Pad. Sara Adhikar wishes you all the best for your upcoming venture. My dear viewers, this was Mr. This was Mr. Sanjay Talamba, the producer of the movie, Mahalakshmi Pad. To get all the updates regarding our news channel, please do keep watching Sara Adhikar. Thank you, Mr. Sanjay Talamba. Thank you. Thank you.